well, being a keyboard player, you, um, I think you have an advantage because you can cover all sorts of, you got piano, you can cover, you know, simulating strings or percussion or whatever. You got a lot of different ways you can, uh, you know, avenues to go to make a living or whatever, as opposed to being a guitar player. There's like thousands of guitar players in Nashville, so that's going to be a harder road to go down. But um, as far as doing sessions, you just got, you need to know your, they used to always say, know your gear. Uh, it's being able to move quickly to get whatever sound they're looking for, to be able to um, come up with a part that works for the song very quickly, and to be able to read the chart that they put in front of you pretty much without making any mistakes the first time, you know. You just got to be able to be ready to play perfectly from the get-go. You can be a great player, but to ha but it's different being in the studio. You don't realize how imperfect your, your playing really is until you're in the studio and get recorded and you're kind of under the microscope, I guess. Um, learning to play with a click or a metronome is really important because everybody always cuts to a um, click. Um, and I think as a keyboard player, one thing I've noticed is most guys tend to play whatever keyboard instrument they're playing, they play it like a piano where they got both hands playing as many notes as they can, trying to fill everything up. And I, that's a huge mistake in keyboard playing, I think. Um, unless I'm playing piano, I hardly even use my left hand because um, it just gets in the way of if there's a piano player, it gets in his way, bass player gets in his way. It's just find your spot and and stay in there. Everything has to work together. But if everybody's playing, covering the full spectrum of sound and you know notes and everything, it just is, it's a mess.